Heart rate is simple enough. Heart rate is the number of beats per minute. Stroke volume is simple enough to understand. Each time the heart pumps, it pumps a certain volume of blood. And in a normal person, 70 kilogram person has a stroke volume of 70 milliliters. We've made it very simple. So cardiac output is the volume of blood pumped over one minute. Cardiac output is equal to the stroke volume times the heart rate. Very simple. For those of you who read carefully between the lines, big giant medical books, uh, yes, the preload is a pressure, but in a normally compliant ventricle, we can turn the preload into a volume. And so clinically speaking, we think of preload as the volume of blood in the ventricle before contraction, the end diastolic volume. Diastole is the relaxation of the heart. And so at the end of diastole, there's a volume of blood ready to pump. And here, let's say it's 100 milliliters. After the heartbeat, the heart has pumped out most of the blood in the ventricle, but not all of it. So the afterload is the volume of blood in the ventricle after the contraction. It's the end of systole. Systole is the pumping, and so at the end of systole, there's still some blood left, and that's the end systolic volume, the afterload. So the preload, 100 milliliters, and after pumping a stroke volume of 70 milliliters, we're left with our afterload, 30 milliliters. So this is where these terms come from. And so the ejection fraction is the percentage of blood pumped during a single beat. So here, my preload is 80 milliliters, and after pumping 40 milliliters, I'm left with 40 milliliters. So we've pumped half of the volume of the ventricle. So we would consider that an ejection fraction of 50%, or an ejection fraction of 0.50. And this is an important word in congestive heart failure because we'll talk about the ejection fraction. All right, an elephant has a much larger stroke volume than a mouse, but they have the same ejection fractions. Mammals have basically the same ejection fractions, and so that's why that's called normalizing it when we make it a percentage instead of an actual volume.